uh, Iran uh, have, uh, but Iran have agenda. I told you, they want to defeat the state of Israel. And they want to build a Shia belt around Israel. And the Shia belt is going Lebanon, Hezbollah. Now they can deploy Iranians and Hezbollah and military forces along the border with the Golan Heights. Then we have Jordan, that is really not a complicated country, but in the back yard of it there is Iraq. And in Iraq, Iran have already uh, first step in, in inside, go down and you find Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia for many years fighting the Houthis against uh, Saudi Arabia. And that's great because now he can interrupt also over there in Saudi Arabia, goes to Egypt, to Sinai, then you will find over there Daesh and some other uh, inside uh, um, the uh, Gaza Strip that is Hamas. Yes, they are not coming from the same agenda, they are coming from the, the opposite side of the Shia. But it doesn't matter. Great interest connected together. We have Hamas, we have Daesh on the mixed uh, terrorist group in, in Sinai, Saudi Arabia with the Houthis coming back, Iraq coming back uh, here, and here we got a Shia belt building up slowly, slowly, slowly. And the last few years, we are seeing Iran efforts to deploy military forces inside Syria, along the border, and in the backyard, the Vietnam Agency can uh, go to the front, to the border, and attack Israel, not only from the Lebanon side, also from Syria. Uh, Hezbollah is increasing the frictions along the border, even on the politics in general. I have a military question. There's, there's been many published reports from the Northern Command source that the next war, if it breaks out, um, will not be a measured war, but from Latani south there's going to be very quick and massive devastation. Yes, that's what we are planning. <laughs> and I'm planning it up front, and uh, not only for you, uh, I told you that I listen to every word that I'm uh, saying over here and on the daily day, yes. They know that it's part of the deterrence that we are sizing. They the know are out that the Israeli, Israeli Air Force with the Israeli Army are ready in almost a no time, in almost a no time, to attack in a very heavy attack. All the infrastructures and all we I told you every third building. For you, it's just counting. For us, it's intelligence. I can open a map and show you. This building, we have this, and this building, we have this, and this. Nothing to general work. by by day three of that kind of war, world opinion will turn against you, the United Nations will turn against you, and you have three or four more weeks. What's the plan? That's the idea. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, believe me, we have a plan, and uh, we just uh, uh, finished two weeks of exercise a week ago uh, about if will what we are going to do. Very good exercise. We have a lot of lesson learned. We are keep on training. Uh, we have a very strong uh, military forces. The air defense, the ID, the, uh, the air force, the navy, and especially the army. Of course, because I'm an army, uh, that really are uh, ready. You just see.